Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Black Cream Prophetess channel where I practice cardamancy and tarot reading. Today, I will be doing the weekly read for Aquarius. How you doing, my Aquarius? How are you doing? I hope your last week was wonderful. You made it into the top five firmly. Okay, all right, all right, you with your five views from last week's videos. I know you notice it's a new setup here. You see it a little bit more of me. You see my knees, okay? Um, but the main thing is that you get to see the full spread, okay? So, let's get into your reading. Oh, before I get into your reading... Um, how you stay, and for those who may be new to the channel, um, how you get into the top five for the weekly read is be the top viewed video for this week. And next week, you will be prioritized in the top five zodiac signs that I will do first. Okay. All right. And then um, the other way that you can be in the top five is to be your season. Now, being that this is still Gemini season, season. This is the last read where they will be the very first sign that I do the reading for, for the week. Okay. Also, if you like a uh, personal read, my email will be in the description. You can email me and I will schedule you a personal reading. Now, Aquarius, let's get into your reading and starting it off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. I yield myself to you to receive and to convey the message you have for Aquarius. For the week of June 19th through June 25th. Holy Spirit, I pray that those, those who are listening to this message, be it they are Aquarius sun sign, Aquarius moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in their chart, Holy Spirit, or just crosswalk that this message will bless their ears. Let those who have an ear, let them hear the message of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Ooh, child. I wonder if I have my AC on. It is hot in the A today. And it's only, what, three something? It's been hot since this morning, like 10 o'clock in the morning. What you gonna do outside? <laughs> be inside in the AC. That's what you're gonna be doing. <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit. Okay. Looks as if we got the jack of spades as a significator or the topic of your reading today. The Holy Spirit want to talk about maybe a Gemini that's in your energy. I mean, that is in your circle. Or um, maybe some of you have children that is that have to wear a uniform. Or maybe you're coaching some kids in a sport. Okay, you may also, uh, the Holy Spirit, you may have children that wear uniforms, um, you may be coaching a sport Aquarius here. Holy Spirit, where? Okay, um. Now, surrounding this, you may be having a, a news, you might be receiving some type of uh, challenging news as well here. I see a lot of movement here. 
with the uh, five of clubs and the eight and seven of clubs and the two of clubs, there's a lot of movement, like physical movement. Like you're going to be traveling a lot or you may be having a lot of meetings. Um, there, there's movement. It could be just change or activity here. Uh, but I'm interested in this six of hearts that this Jack of Spades is looking at here. Hmm. Holy Spirit, that six of hearts, why is that Jack of hearts? Uh, oh. You may be, are, are you in a relationship, for some of you, you're in a relationship with a Gemini? Because the six of hearts is, uh, is representing uh, a love affair here. Hmm. Interesting. But now you also have this uh, five of clubs, which this five of clubs. Some of you acquire I feel like maybe uh either you're working with someone and um you you might be in a position where you have to leave that position because of the love affair you're having with this Gemini, a co-worker. Okay, this pop, yeah, <laughs> the Holy Spirit is like, yeah, you have this Gemini here, the Zachary Spades is a Gemini, and you, you're having a love affair with that, or you may be forced to change your job or leave your position because of this love affair. It's causing problems. You've got this two of clubs, which is the uh, uh, work friend or, you know, so this is someone that you're, you work with, that you're, you're having an affair with a coworker. You know what I'm saying? And either you're leaving or they're leaving the job. One of you are leaving the position here. Oh my goodness, really? Okay. But I, I, the Holy Spirit made it a little bit clear. Um, you, you are, you are friends with someone, or you're getting a position because you're having an affair with someone that can get you in a position because you're you're getting more money here. Okay. Or maybe you're changing your position with this person. You're going from uh, 
a good friend to, you know, no, 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 the host said that. No, it's not that. It's like you're getting the position because you're having an affair with someone at your job. Okay. I don't see that you're sleeping with the boss, but this person is definitely helping you get into a position or you're leaving because one of you are leaving the job because this five of clubs represents a change of business or employment or you're going you get you're changing your job okay and this two represents the two uh, a, a work friend or uh, a business partner Yeah, <laughs> and you're going over the books, the bookkeeping, so that you all can part ways. Okay. Now, this nine of diamonds represents that you'll be getting some money in, and that probably because you all are going to be splitting you all's um, assets. And going your own way, you're going to be getting some money in from this business. Then you have this um, seven of clubs and eight of clubs. Yeah. The seven of clubs is weighing the pros and cons. Maybe you all are considering to, to split. Either you're considering to come together as partners to make money or you're splitting both ways. Oh, I, I actually, I know it just seems like cause it's, uh, I'm getting a, a couple of downloads. For some of you, you are leaving because of this affair and, you, uh, and you're and you getting more money. <clears throat> you're getting more money and um, your job is going to be improving. For some of you, you're considering to partner up with someone. Okay. And that six of hearts is also uh, studying the books, you know, studying book, keep, you know, books, and you're studying, you're, you're getting knowledge of something. So, and then with the Eight of Diamonds, which is budgeting and bookkeeping, Yeah, you're going in business with a Gemini. I should learn to stop talking before I get my full download. But okay, so this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. You are going into business with a Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. You're studying that Gemini is studying you, getting the knowledge, getting the um, we're, we're we're evaluating the, our money. You're monitoring your money. You're budgeting your money, okay, um, to go into partnership with this Gemini, okay. You're changing the tra trajectory of your business, okay. You are a single entrepreneur now. You are gaining a business partner with this Gemini. So, but y'all doing the, the, you're doing the research behind this business, you know, how much you'll make, what's the pro pro projected uh, profits of this business that y'all get together. Y'all going to bring, pool y'all monies together. You're, um, you're, you're having a lot of meetings trying to figure out how you all will merge together as one. I feel like the Gemini has, um, like, Take, for instance, maybe your candle business, uh, Aquarius, and a Gemini has a soap business, and you all are seeing how this works. You're considering partnership 
and becoming a uh, candle and like you're becoming a, a, a competition for Bath and Body Works because Bath and Body Works have the soaps and the fragrances and, and candles and things of that sort. So you are, are, you know, maybe like that. I'm just saying you are doing the, y'all doing the research, you're considering merging and you're having a lot of meetings regarding uh, y'all's pending possible um, uh, merger. You're merging with a Gemini. Now, this could be in business, but it could be in life as well. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. But you're definitely uh, merging with a Gemini and y'all you're, you're considering the merger. It's not that you're merging for sure, for sure, but you all are doing the research and, and you're investigating would this be a good partnership? Okay. You're do you're weighing the pros and cons, you're having all these meetings, you're going over your budget, you know what I'm saying, you're studying their product and how this could work possibilities here okay and the outcome now we, this outcome card is going to tell us if you're really going to actually go in business with this gemini and it comes out as a wish come true so definitely this would be a game for you okay it's going to be a win-win situation between you two I apologize. We have uh, people that come and bathroom our stairs and make sure it's all dust and free. So that is what I'm believing. Either that or it's my neighbor vacuuming with their door open. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, either way. So, yes, it looks like you have a... Um, you're considering a merger with a Gemini here. What's the final message you have for Aquarius? What is the final message you have for Aquarius? I know y'all thought it's probably this over here. It's not in here. It was one that slipped. I seen it. That was the one. That was the one. I seen you. It's in here backwards. I know it. There you go. Bye out. Okay. The six of wands here in reverse or in the yin. Okay. We have here Aquarius. The six of wands. Again, more movement. Okay. Or maybe the lack thereof. Let's look at the Six of Wands in reverse. The Six of Wands in reverse is self-sabotage, dropping out, giving up, an accident, needing external validation. Okay. Don't not go into it as something. What I'm hearing is don't self-sabotage yourself in making this decision because you want to stay small. Don't be afraid of success. If that's what I'm hearing. You may self-sabotage yourself. And being that the Six of Wands is not a major arcana, this is something that you can change by making the right decision. I'm feeling like this would be a great merger between you and this Gemini energy. Um, Y'all are going to make great 
I would say great music together. Yes. This would be a positive merger. But don't get caught up in the small stuff, Aquarius. Because you can self-sabotage because you're afraid. So, congratulations on the merger. Or... You're gonna have you're going to have to go through this cycle again, and you're gonna to have to. Um, I mean, I you know, God's willing, He will give you a second chance, and usually He does. If you don't pass this test, He'll give it to you again. He'll give you another opportunity, and you'll take it that time if you don't take it this time. But congratulations on the merger. Bye. See you next week for your 